Well, good morning. It is Miniature Monday time, and we're going to do an old barn pocket painting. Now, the first thing I'm doing, I've just got a nice red here, and I'm going to paint the side of the barn. I'm going directly on to dry watercolor paper. And this is just three and a half by three and a half inches. The reason I love these little pocket paintings is because it's a good warm up before you start your serious paintings. That's right, serious paintings. So it gets your brain activated and the right side of your brain working and getting into that creative mindset. Now this is one of those raggedy barns you see out in the woods. It's all leaning, it's crooked, things have shifted. So it doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I love old things. They don't have to be perfect. They need character. So our little barn doesn't have to be perfection because we're giving it character. Now I've got the front part of the barn painted with the red, but I made it just a tiny bit darker because it's a little bit more in shadow. I'm getting a little green and blue making sort of a gray color. And I'm painting the roof with that. Again, wet on dry, the paper's dry. Now that I've gotten that on there, now I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping in some darker gray and just letting the water do its work. Let it blend it, blend it, blend it. That water does most of the work for you when you're doing wet on wet technique, and that's what this is. So I'm getting it darker in some corners. I'm gonna go ahead with that same gray, paint the inside of the door, cause it's in shadow in there. Paint the windows. Now our windows are not even straight. They're just kind of crooked and that's okay. We're just really trying to get our creativity juices flowing. We're not trying to make a masterpiece. We just want to have a little fun with this. So don't put pressure on yourself. There's no pressure. There's no wrong or right way. You just do it and make it the way that you want it. So now I'm just going ahead with some green and doing the horizon line there. And I'm not making it a straight line. I'm giving it some um, some jiggities and some jaggedies so that it looks like it's some type of vegetation growing up from the ground. Painting around the fence posts. I want to keep those white until the end because I want those to be highlighted. And then I'm just taking some clear water, just some clean water and just sort of fading that out. Just, just smoothing it out on the edges, blending it out into the paper. I'm going to take a little bit of the pyrrole green, it's a dark green, and make sort of like ruts in the road. Even though this road is grown over with grass, you can still see that some it's somewhat traveled. I'm going to take a darker gray, a Payne's gray, and I'm going to paint shadows in the windows now that they're fairly dry. And the reason I'm waiting until they're fairly dry is so that the shadows will hold their shape. It won't blur and blend into the window. Now I'm just going to take that same dark mixture and draw just some texture on top of that roof, a few lines. I'm going to go ahead and put a shadow over here underneath this eave. Give it a, just a little shadow. Put a few more texture lines in there. Remember, we want character, not perfection. I'm going to make a little darker red shadow here underneath the eaves of the roof on the front part of the barn. And it, of course across the side as well where that's shading the side, the eave of the roof. And then I'm just going to pull that dark color down, give it some texture on the front. Now I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the fall foliage behind the barn. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but he's going to be yellow and orange. There we go. We got that little tree going. And notice that I leave a little bit of space so that the sky is shining through. And then once it's wet, I come back in with some of the reddish orange and just drop it in there and let the water do the work of the blending. It's a nice spontaneous look. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, now we are going to go ahead and put some foliage over here. I'm wetting the paper first. I'm going to come and get some green and just drop it in there. And that's um, 
that's a little bit of a olive green mixed with green gold. I'm going to add some more foliage here to the side in a darker so it looks like there's a little shadow coming off of the the barn and some little shadows coming off of the fence posts. And I'm just adding a little bit of the pyrrole green and you notice I'm making some flicks. I'm just flicking my brush to make it look like vegetation is growing. Make it look like leaves of grass or brush or something like that. Remember this 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 uh, meadow hasn't been mown or and there's no cows in it to graze it, no animals, so it's kind of overgrown, kind of leaning, kind of like me, a little quirky, but that's okay. Artists are quirky. That's that's what we are, and that's okay. So I'm still adding some more vegetation with the green right around the base of the barn to the side of the barn. And that barn is dry, so the vegetation is showing up nice and crisply. Now I'm adding that really dark pyrrole green and adding some really dark vegetation right at the right at the horizon line, right at the base of the barn as well. While it's still a little bit wet, so you can see that that water is making it into a nice velvety faded green. I'm going to re-wet this tree just at the top just to smooth it out some and wet the very bottom of that dark green so it can blend out and down so it's not a hard line there. Add a little bit of that dark green right at the base of those fence posts, shadows. And my little, my little scene is coming along. And I'm just sort of blending out some of these edges, just softening them up with clear water, that's all. I'm just going to add a little bit more to my tree, a little bit more yellow, a little bit more orange. Notice I'm letting the sky shine through. I'm not covering up the whole paper. I'm letting some of the white of the paper shine through. And I'm just going to come back in with a few more shadows, a few more darker spots in those trees, brighten them up some. That is really pretty. That is looking pretty good. So now I am getting some browns mixed with just a little bit of um, Payne's Gray. And I'm going to go ahead and put in those fence posts. I'm not going to paint the entire fence post brown. I want some of the white left to look like highlights. Like the light is sort of shining on it a little bit. Then I'm just going to draw in the wires of the fence. Maybe it's a little bob wire. I don't know. Oh but just to indicate that there's some wire there for the fencing. It also leads your eye up to that barn. I'm gonna take that same dark brown mixture mixed with a little bit of Payne's Gray, and I'm just gonna paint in a few branches into my fall trees back here. Maybe a trunk right here. Just a few little branches. We can't have those leaves just floating in air. They need some structure. They need something to hold them up. So let's put in a few trunks, a few branches. Do it really lightly because they are in the distance so you wouldn't be able to see them you know, as well. There's not a lot of detail. We're just doing little fine lines. I'm using a number two pointed round brush here just in case you're wondering. And getting those in there. Even some I'm pulling out above the foliage. It looks like some of the leaves have already fallen off. I'm coming back with my red, adding a little bit more texture on the barn. Remember, we want character, not perfection. So we're adding a little character, just like all these so-called character lines on my face. But, you know, they're really wrinkles. So now I'm just blending out those shadows. Just so they'll be a little bit more softer. And um, it is looking really good. You have a cute little barn vignette for the fall. I love this little thing. Very cute. I hope you enjoyed this. Now, if you like this, like and follow me for more tips and tutorials. See you soon.